Preview. Welcome to Valdemar's College. In this video, we'll be looking at empirical formula, molecular formula, and the structural formula of organic compounds. So the first one we have is the empirical formula. Um, what are empirical formulas? The formula indicates the simplest ratio of the number of atoms of each element present in the molecule. For example, let's take uh, glucose and ethanoic acid. Glucose and ethanoic acid. So we have glucose here and uh, ethanoic acid. So glucose is having this formula 6 is H12 or 6. Also, we have a uh, ethanoic acid to have this formula CH42. This is the actual formula of this compound. So if we were to reduce this comp the formula, the numbers present there to their simplest ratio. Now let's divide this by 6 and divide this one by 2. We are going to have this to be C H two O what O like that. Now, if we are to divide this one by two, also we are going to have C H two O, which means that this is the simplest form of these numbers that we can get. So, from the definition, empirical formula of a compound indicates the simplest ratio. So, it shows the simplest ratio in which atoms combine in the molecule don't forget empirical formula shows the simplest ratio in which atoms combine so it shows the simplest ratio of atoms in a compound that is for empirical formula so we are going to examine the second formula B the second formula is molecular formula. Molecular formula. Okay, what is the molecular formula? Molecular formula of a compound shows the actual number of atoms of each element present in the molecule. So the main thing about molecular formula is that it represents the actual number of atoms. So it's talking about the actual number of atom like glucose the molecular formula for glucose is c6 h12 o6 for ethanoic acid acid is c2 h4 o2 then for methane is CH4. These are the uh, molecular formula of some compounds. So now you can see it from here too. So these are the molecular formulas. It shows the extra number. So there is another uh, way we can determine a molecular formula with relationship to the empirical formula. We have it to be molecular formula. Molecular formula equals to the empirical formula the empirical formula bracket n therefore n equals the molecular mass of the compound of the compound divided by the mass of empirical formula of the compound
okay so let's go back to it again don't forget empirical formula is the simplest formula of an atom in a compound so it shows the lowest ratio in which the atoms can combine also molecular formula shows the actual number of atoms present in the molecule like glucose the molecular formula for glucose is c6 h2fo6 for ethanol acid we have it to be c2 h4o2 then for methane is ch4 then they have this uh, formula to, to find n to find the molecular formula we have it to be empirical formula multiplied by the numbers also lastly we have the last one to be the structural formula c structural formula the structural formula of a compound shows the atoms that are arranged in that compound it shows how they are linked together in the molecule for example where the numbers of isomer is small the uh, a series of possible structural formula may be deduced for example ethanol we have uh this way now we are talking about structural formula Structural formula just shows the way atoms are linked in a molecule. Let's talk about, uh, let's draw the structure of ethanol. Ethanol is the with molecular formula C2H6O. So this is the formula here. You have it to be carbon to carbon. It shows how these atoms are linked together so this shows the structural formula okay and we have it this to be ethanol also we can have it arranged in another way so this thing is refers to as isomerism so they are isomers of each other since they it contains the same number of atoms but the arrangement is not the same so this one here is dimethyl ether dimethyl ether okay it's an isomer of of ethanol so this is refers to as structural formula don't forget structural formula explain the way atoms are linked together so it's talking about uh, the arrangement of atoms in the molecule okay thanks for listening in our next video i'm going to show you some calculations on how to determine empirical formula and molecular formula also in drawing the structural formula